I'm fine, mm-hmm. thank you. Is my connection okay? Yeah, yeah I can see you. I can hear you okay. okay. Mine? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, it's nice talking to you. And you. Uh, let's talk about your new album, The Peter Truth. It's, it's your first album in almost nine years. So, what took you so long to release a new full length album? Well, I've been enjoying kind of just making music in different ways and also focusing on different aspects of my life. Um, I became a mom in that time. Uh, that's pretty amazing. That's just changed my world and um, opened my eyes to a new perspective for sure. Um, and then also just, I don't know, I feel like in a lot of ways we just needed, I needed to refresh. So I did some film score stuff, made a kid's album after obviously being inspired by my son. Um, but that got me working with my family, which was such a special and unique experience. I don't know. I just don't like being tied to feeling like I, it's like making a full Evanescence album is something that we have to do. It needs to come out of wanting to do it, you know, and, um, feeling that there's, uh, that reason and that drive. Um, we definitely have that now. Um, it's been so good to have it during this year too, with how, hard everything has been um and how you know we never have control but this year especially that's just really clear we just it feels like we have no control of anything mm-hmm. so it will music and um i don't know pour ourselves and um our feelings and all, everything into that um and to be able to feel like you know i'm making something that i really love is energizing me uh in a in a beautiful way so i i'm glad that it worked out the way that it did that we were aiming to um to do this this year because i i just i am relying on it right now and i understand that the album is still you're still recording you're still writing so how is the process going it's it's different it's it's i mean i don't know how to even really sum it up we're we're, we're having to just kind of be fluid like with how things are and and what's happening around us and and you know work however we can um we kind of have gotten together in different um batches and phases with with the songs as we've had them written you know um recorded those songs and then um made more songs and actually we were able to get the american band members back together uh, about a month and a half ago um to just be here quarantined together and um record a bunch more music um but we'd originally started recording in february before the pandemic hit uh which was um lucky because we've had this music to put out and and you know um share with the fans during this time and focus on so Yeah, it's been different. I am still writing. I'm just at the end, like writing lyrics to a couple more songs. Um, And it's, it's always lyrics are the thing that take the most time Mm -hmm. because you have to wait until you know what it is that you want to say. And then really, um, I don't know, find, find the way to express it. So I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm writing lyrics hardcore the past couple of weeks. um, And then, you know, intermittently going back into the studio with Nick and, and doing other things. Troy's doing some overdubs, overdub guitars today. So that'll be fun. And for your lyrics that you were mentioning, uh, do you felt inspired by all of this that's happening all over the world, with the pandemic and the social problems in all over the world? Do you think they're an, an inspiration for you? Yeah, of course. Um, it's so huge. I mean, there's no way to avoid it. Um, and the music is, is for me, it's really my place to just pour out everything that I'm feeling, even things that I'm not 100% um, comfortable talking about, like through speaking, like I can write and I can sing um, from my heart in a way that gives me an outlet to express when it's harder to do just with a conversation. There's so much going on right now. Yes, of course, it's part of it. It's not the whole thing. Um, a lot of it for me is processing things and um, going through things that have been going on um, in my life and in our lives for the past few years. Um, but there is definitely a lot more to write about now after um, just just so much. There's so much going on in the world. There's so much wrong. There's so much to um, stand against and so much to fight for. Yeah, that's definitely playing a part. 
and this album, for what we've been able to, to listen to and for what you have said in interviews, is gonna be a little heavier than the, than the previous ones. And you wanted these directions from the beginning or you it just happened when you were writing it? Um, you have to just go with what you feel. I think this is what we're feeling right now. And obviously, um, it's close, but this particular lineup is, is new. Um, you know, it's coming from us. A lot of the songs are, the band's really involved. Like we're in there together, kind of jamming ideas together. I get ideas by myself at home, but then I bring them in and we really form them as a group. Um, and some things start with us just together. So that naturally creates its own thing. But especially, you know, I think right now, after the last thing that we did was synthesis, which um, was focused on orchestra and electronica and such a different, um, more heady and subdued kind of, well, subdued, I don't know if that's the right word, but sonically, yes, um, place that we just want to rock, you know, just like the way that we've been touring for the past couple of years since synthesis um, in a, sorry, my phone's ringing. Okay. Um, since synthesis, in a way, we've just been like pouring ourselves into, you know, our, our core sound and also adapting that into the future of who we are now um, and the skills that we have now. I mean, we're able to do things now that, I mean, I wasn't able to do when we were making Fallen and I was just a teenager. So we're just like pushing it to the limit. And um, I think that there's a reason to feel um, a lot of passionate and aggressive um, feelings right now and being able to pour that into music and express ourselves that we just is, is healing for right now. Yeah, and what can you tell me about this new lineup of the band? How are you working? How have been the work together? Great. I mean, we've been doing it for a while now. I mean, I've had um, the guys for, years um and they were all there last time but jen is new and it's it's hard right now because she's in germany um and we're not able to actually be together so the first phase of our work together we were together but in this part now we're having to work remotely and that is definitely a challenge um but we love her so much she's been such a good addition um it's cool to be able to have um another female in the band for sure you know we're friends in a way that is it's just different the way that we can have a connection um but i don't know every single person in the band is unique everybody has different musical styles everybody has different personalities and every time you change up you know the ingredients a little bit you get a little bit of a different um sound as a whole you know with the modes that you sort of gravitate towards so it's very much still evanescence but it's it's the new evanescence i like it and you released, you released the Fallen album, your first album with Evanescence, almost 20 years ago. So how different do you think things are for you now? Because all, there's many times to... How different is what for me now? The, 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 way, the, the way you make music, maybe, the way you, you, be, you are in the stage of that, all you related to music, how different is for you? It's very different. I... I've gained a lot of um, self-confidence as a musician that I didn't used to have when I was a lot younger. When we were making Fallen, I mean, most of those songs were written when I still lived at my parents' house, you know, like in school and staying up late at night, um, playing on my keyboard with my headphones on in my room and then like sleeping through my first classes and <laughs> <laughs> learning what music was and how to make it because it, it really... Um, was so new just to know how just learning who who I was and and how to make music in the first place um of course we we kept going after that but it was only a couple of years later that that Fallen came out so it really was born in a very um experimental and I don't know what I'm doing kind of place um but also just like the mode back then for writing and even recording for me I I don't know. I was really shy. Um, I was kind of scared to sing in, in front of people. And um, we never, it's not like we ever would sit in a circle, like as a band, as a group and like jam until a song came out. That's something that we've developed, you know, over the years to really become 
a real band, I feel like. So I'm not afraid to suck. Like, I'm not afraid to sound crappy in front of my band. I trust them. Um, and we respect each other. And everybody sucks before they sound good. We come up with 10 great ideas. I mean, 10 horrible ideas before you come up with one good one. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get comfortable with that and not worry about it so much. Um, so I don't know. I feel, I feel more freedom and confidence as a musician just with all the experience we've had. But, you know, just comfortable in it. I feel like I'm like, okay, I got this now. Yeah. And you, since the beginning, there's been a, the, the female singer, the female rock bands are having many space on the rock scene. So I think they is kind of changing now, but still there's lots to do. Like you're expressing a Facebook post recently. So how how did you dealt with this when you were starting with the band? It, it was always weird to me. It's funny because I. Honestly, like it's come in phases. It's not like women haven't had their moments where they were big in rock music. When when I was really, really getting inspired by music that was, you know, on the radio, it was like alternative grunge. Like there were so many um, female musicians and and female fronted bands from Garbage to Veruca Saul. That there's there's there was a ton um, and those were like my heroes. By the time we made it onto, okay, we're putting out an album and getting ready to go on the scene, things had really shifted into a very male dominated, um, that whole active rock, new metal, modern rock place that it was in the 2000s that has continued quite a bit. Really just, um, it's hard to explain, but it, it, it was very, very, masculine and I remember feeling like that was that was weird that wasn't what I expected that wasn't like what I kind of grew up thinking I never thought about it as like this is going to be hard because I'm a woman um and obviously we had um great success I have so much to be grateful for so I'm not complaining but it it's it is different it is harder it's not when people think of rock music not really thinking of a woman necessarily I don't think um I I love that I don't want to be like everybody else, but at the same time, I want to encourage and lift up um, other women in all music. There's women all over the place, but in rock in particular, there definitely is um, a much smaller women of um, women in rock than, than men. Um, and it, it should be about the music. It should be about what sounds great, but we're always going to support each other. There are so many great female musicians. So when we find each other, we just cling to each other and support each other because, 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 <laughs> because, we're here, because the more we're here, the more, the more, more women will be here. And that has already, I've already seen that be the case. And part of it has to do with not just being um, the girls on stage, but backstage the tour managers, the engineers, the producers, um, all of the women behind the scenes, you know, I think that for me was, that was my bigger fight. Um, not existing as a, a female singer. Um, I think it's easy for people to imagine, yeah, that a woman can sing. Um, I think what's harder is breaking the mold of being like, yeah, but I'm a songwriter and yeah, I run pro tools and I can actually record all our demos and actually you know like i can play instruments <laughs> i feel like a more difficult thing that I've, i've had to prove i feel like i'm past a point of always having to feel like i have to prove it now but in the beginning that was the biggest struggle for me was um trying to um establish myself and, and earn respect of the people around me um as a, a musician um as a creator first because being a singer um actually came second to me to that yeah and for one last question you have played here in chile with evanescence way i think more than once so what do you remember of playing here uh i think our last yeah i know our last time it was it was 2017 um yeah, yeah it was, it was our last yeah. tour because we, it's always like this frenzy backstage of packing all your stuff so like <laughs> i just remember like all these boxes we had a great show um we miss it. I miss touring. I really do. Um, the fans for us in South America and in Chile uh, have been extremely supportive of us from the very beginning, just full of so much passion. Um, mm -hmm. Concerts there is such a treat. Um, 
because you don't hold back is just full on happening. I love it. I, I honestly, I would come there tomorrow if it was safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and your fans are will be waiting. <laughs> yeah. Fans will be always waiting. Okay. We don't have much time, so thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you back soon. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. Take care too. Bye bye.